Hello everyone, welcome to my Nora Bay Farms here in Stardew Valley. My name is Melanie V. Thanks for joining me today. So we can see from the UI Info Suite mod that uh, it's a really good luck day and it's going to be raining tomorrow. Also, it looks like my gold pickaxe is ready. So that's fantastic. It is now the first day of fall. The best season, I think. Well, money-wise. Because we can definitely make quite a bit of money from the crops in this season. I'm going to put these in the cell bin right now. And I am going to actually just eat the fish. Just so I can get some spots in my inventory. So right now I have 23,000 and I'm probably going to spend most, if not all of that, on the fall seeds. So, grab up my scythe. I'll need my watering can and my hoe. Put the fishing rod away and the axe away for now. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to change the layout a little bit. Um, not too much, I guess. I think, actually, I think I need my pickaxe. So I'll definitely have to go grab that from Clint today. So let me go ahead and give Tommy some water. Here you go, boy. I'll refill this right now. There is Robin working on our shed. And if we mouse over Robin's little portrait down here, we'll show how much time left until she's finished the building. So I think that's one of their really cool upgrades with the mod. And it's not it's not the same mod, it's very similar. But it's by a, a different author. What I believe he did is he took the original and he kind of upgraded it a bit. So, pretty nice. Let's check the quest board here. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. He needs four sardines. Willie would like us to catch four sardines. I'm going to accept the quest. But as per usual, I probably won't get it finished. I'll do my best. I will. I will make an attempt. And it's not, it's not 9 yet, so let's actually head over to Clint, and it'll be closer to 9 by the time we get there. Oh, hey Morris, you're still here, hey? Not for much longer. Check the trash, and open up, Clint. And there is our gold pickaxe. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's head outside. We'll go this way. And tomorrow, they're gonna get the sign put up here. Where we can get the big quest board so we can have big quests that we don't complete. Honestly, with the big quest, I, I almost always get those done. So it's not like the little ones where I can easily forget. There's way more time to get it done, the big ones. So most likely I'll be doing those. There's also going to be a lot of forage to collect. But yeah, I'm just gonna clear this up here. not where I was going to put that, but that's okay, I can fix it. I came all the way back here and I didn't even buy any seeds. <laughs> yeah, the seeds are kind of important. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of these corn. Buy corn. Grab this one here as well. I am also going to. I want to be able to grow the giant crops and 
with these sprinklers, you can't really do that. So I'm gonna have like a separate area where I'm gonna put like a pumpkin patch where I can have an opportunity to grow the giant pumpkins. Okay, let's go back to Piers and grab some seeds because we kind of need that for planting. So I am going to sell the corn I have in my inventory right now to Pierre. Hey Pierre. Okay, the good stuff. Okay, pumpkin seeds. So I want to get I think let's go for maybe I'll go I'll get 18. Let's get 36 actually. Let's go with 36. Um, eggplants, let's get 32. Look at how my money is dwindling. Ah, bug choy. That's pretty cheap. We'll get 16 of these. And the yams, let's get 32 of these. And cranberries, cranberries, I want loads of these, but I'm thinking about my space, so I think I want to get 64, I don't think I have enough spots for 64, but let's go for it, I don't know if I can even afford 64, let's go for 32 first. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's stick with 32, because there's a whole bunch of the seeds I want to get planted. Get a couple of these. Amaranth. Let's get 16 of the amaranth. Oh boy, I'm almost out of money. Ah! It did not last very long, did it? Okay, let's go down here to the new crops. So, bell pepper. Um... Let me go to the, this is a uh, one that reproduces after the first harvest, so I'm going to focus on the ones that don't reproduce first. Let's get eight of these. Carrots, let's get eight. And already had cotton. No kiwi, let's get eight of the rosemary. Sage, let's get eight of that as well. Spinach, this one is a, a really fast crop. I think I already bought this maybe, because it was available in spring. And the sweet potatoes, definitely need to get some of that. Oh, watermelon, 14 days. So I wanna get this planted right away. Okay, so I'm going to go with 16. No, I don't think I can. I'll get eight. Just because I still want to get some bell peppers as well. So let's get eight of these. Okay, so I have $2,000 left. <laughs> Not a whole lot. So yeah, I'm going to stick with this for now. We'll get these planted. And, oh, hey, Sam. Oh, hi, are you making friends with anyone in town? Just you right now. Okay, let's head back to the farm and get these all planted. So we have to clear a whole bunch of spots right now. So let's see how this layout is going to look. Okay, let's get some of these eight in here. Oh no, that one's out of order. Shh, that's gonna irritate me. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Can't change it now. 
Let's just plant something else out of order too. Okay. And what do we have? 16. Oh, anything 16s? Here we go. We'll plant these here. And we need another eight. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> okay, something else that's out of order. It's like it's like an artistic piece of work. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be, you know, different. Okay, so I will water here. And I am going to get the watering can upgraded again. Um, just because I am going to be putting the pumpkins in a patch that's not under a sprinkler. And if I could get that done today, that would be amazing, but I don't think... Yeah, it's already 3 o'clock. It's not happening. So even though it's going to rain tomorrow, it would be perfect to get it done today. It's just not going to happen, unfortunately. So I have two sprinklers in my chest right now. So and I'll need a couple more, looks like. Now hopefully I can do better at getting these ones planted in an orderly fashion. And if not, it'll just be more art. Not the end of the world. And now that I have the UI Info Suite mod back, I'm going to make sure my sprinkler is covering enough of all my crops. One here, one there. Okay. Let's go ahead and just get those sprinklers right now. So I should be able to get well, I got three bars, so I'll make three more. Where are my gold bars? Where did I put them? Oh, I move things around so often, and I need to be more consistent with where I'm placing things. Gold bars, where are you? Oh my goodness, what did I do with them? Did I... They're right in here. Oh my goodness. They are right here. <laughs> okay, let's do three more sprinklers. And let me find the other ones. There we go. So now we got five. And we'll place this down. It's so good to see the mod working again. It's just, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. So this one will go right there. We'll put this one there. And let's get one there. Yeah. So let's plant around these for now. Let me put out uh, the eggplants right now. <gasps> Yay, the eggplants are not chaotic. Okay, I'm gonna grab goodbye corn. Oh, 
Okay, two more groups of eight. Let's plant these reproducing ones down here. We'll do the melons here. Okay, let's do some more. Look at the time already. The first day of the season is always so rushed. Okay, so let's get one of these down here. I don't know if I'll have time to do all my uh, my pumpkins. Which are the most important of all the crops. <laughs> According to me anyways. Okay, so let's get some pumpkin going right here. I'm really good considering getting my hoe upgraded. I know it's really going to use one day in the entire season, but it's kind of the biggest day of the season. Am I going to get this all done? Uh, I don't know. I really want to get the pumpkins down. Eat a few of these mushrooms. Okay, let's get this watered. I think we might make it. I think we might make it. Oh yes, we did it. that one wet okay so let's get the let's put the flowers right here in these two spots I think I need to refill my can really quick oh I still have lots of yams to plant I don't really have a spot for them either Okay, and I don't think I'll have enough sprinkler coverage for it either. I think I might get one more iron bar. Yeah. Okay, let's grab the goal as well. Let's take that. What happened to all that lighting I supposedly put out? Ah, uh, so the honey is in the way right now. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like it's not there. We gotta pretend. Okay. I'm going to start with the yams just because they take a bit longer. I get all the spots. I can't even tell where I've gotten. It's too dark. It's too dark. I can't see what's going on. Got that, got that, got that, got that, got that. So maybe I place some over here. Okay, well. We did okay. <laughs> Definitely could have done better, but let's head to bed.
start fresh tomorrow. We need a little tiny bit of money. And our extra iron bar should be ready now. So we'll do one more sprinkler. I want to wait until the bee house is completely ready because it's already been in there collecting honey. So I don't want it to like waste it. Thankfully it's a rainy day. Oh, there it is. See? Perfect. So we will move that today now. Okay, so we'll get one more sprinkler right here. We don't have to water anything today because of the fantastic rain. Oh, I don't have any coal. So I do not yet have that extra iron bar. Okay, so we will have to go up to the mines. I'm just going to store these seeds here for now. I'm going to put this in my donation bin. Oh, look. We have an iron bar right here. What do you know? Let's make that extra sprinkler right now. But we still need to like head to the mines to get more iron ores and coal. So we might as well do that. And it's a, it's a fairly good luck day. It is also Penny's birthday. So I want to like give Penny a gift. Let's grab this one bar here. Get the refined quartz. Make that extra sprinkler. Place that down right here. There's all this odd space in between here. So I might as well just, I don't know, it's going to be a little chaotic looking and it'll be odd to water this area, but I might as well put some seeds in there, right? Yeah, let's do the, let's do the rest of the yam seeds. Eventually we'll get this uh, filled in. I just have to remember to water these every day. Which, knowing how I am, I sometimes forget things. So let's make the outline at least for this sprinkler. And I'll plant these here. Let's do a second set. Let's do it right above. Okay, so we need at least two more sprinklers. We'll put that away for now. Let's get this honey placed back down. And we'll just put it down here where the flowers are. Put our watering can away. Um, we'll take our pickaxe and our, we'll take our sword pickaxe and the hoe. And let me see if I have a poppy to give to Penny. Do I have any poppies? I already donated a poppy to the bundle. So it should be okay for me to give her a gift. And do you want to take anything to Clint today? I think maybe I should take my hoe, but that's not a big priority. What else can I take to Clint? We can take my axe. Actually, I need to take my axe with me to get some wood because I do believe I need to get some more wood for my next upgrade. 
Oh, look, we got some Tapper products ready. Let's tap these bits here. But I'm actually going to need $25,000 before I can even get that barn upgrade. I don't have any income in sight, not for a while anyways. So let's see what we can sell from in here. Let's grab the stuff from the chickens. And the ducks. Oh, hi guys. Thanks for all this wonderful product. Look at that. Put out some more feed for them, just in case we forget tomorrow. And uh, let's go down and see if our cows are ready yet. If they're grown up. I'm gonna have to put some fencing around here, but just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so I just need to get the milker, and maybe I should make a chest right out here so I can leave the product right there. I will have to make a cheese maker as well. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do and so little time to do it in. Let's see, to make the cheese. Cheese press, we need stone, hardwood, and one copper bar. Okay, so that's something I could do. Got a couple of copper bars over here, over here. Let me move that out of there, actually. Okay, and let me make one more chest. Look at it, I'm already running low on the wood. It's just never ever enough. Okay, let's put the wood away and let's get the milker. And we'll just actually set this just outside the barn for now. We'll set it right there so I can always be sure that I have it actually I'm gonna put it in here right next to these so it can automate instead yeah let's do that instead so let's grab the milker and get some milk from these guys Ooh, thank you. Beautiful. Put that in there. We should get some cheese on the go. Okay. And I forgot to put the milking can back in. Oh, forgetful. Okay. <laughs> so now we are really going to go and try to head up to to the, the, the mines, but I want to give Penny a present. Okay, we're going to town first. Then we're going to head to the mines. It might be like 4 o'clock by the time we get to the mines. Oh yeah, Pepsi. Ah, uh, hello there Melanie V. You showed up at the perfect time. I did? It's our new special orders board. Robin and I built it from scratch. Um, Lewis, all you did was hold the nails. <laughs> Ahem, ignore her. Now let me explain. You see, with Minora Bay Farm back in business, the local economy has really been picking up. As a result, some of the local townsfolk have been asking me for a way to source local ingredients for their businesses or personal projects. So Robin and I came up with the idea for a new special orders board where people can post bigger jobs than would make sense for the old billboard outside piers. 
Yeah, for example, I plan on requesting some hardwood for a bed I want to make. I won't put you on the spot, but if you want to help me out, you can just accept the job from the sport. Who knows, maybe if the bed turns out well, I'll start selling them in my shop. Hint, hint. I look forward to helping. I thought so. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Melanie B. So can we say that you're on board? <laughs> Well, I'm sure you're busy, so we won't keep you away from your work any longer. As always, I appreciate your willingness to contribute. Take care, Melanie B. You too, Lewis. Okay. Penny, where are you? Is she at home? Hopefully she's not hiding out in her room. Oh, little quest. No, I was actually trying to look at the... Help wanted. Okay, an invasive crab species living in the local mines threatening the native wildlife. He needs us to kill five of the crabs. Okay, let's do it. I didn't accept that. So let's accept that. It's 900 G's. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. Let's see if Penny's at home. And if not, we'll check. Yeah, we will check at the library slash museum we might as well check out this quest board as well uh rasmodius would like us to find ectoplasm goop well we can take gus's for two dozen eggs i think we're gonna go with rasmodius um i think we have a better chance than we do of getting the eggs i certainly don't want to give gus all my eggs to be honest so not right now so eventually i will take the quest for gus but yeah let's go with rasmodius penny are you in here oh there she is a birthday gift that's really kind of you i love it you're welcome so let's see what our friendship is like with her now she is our bestest friend so it looks like we may be able to we can marry Penny because she's our best friend. Not quite yet, but she's our best option at the moment. Okay, so let's go take the shortcut to the mines. Okay, so where do we want to go? I want some iron ore. Let's go to 45. We'll kill some of those sprites as well. Put these in order here. Oops. I'd also stop by the Adventures Guild just to see what kind of progress we are at with some of these monster eradication. Ooh. Two scrolls. So we just need to find two more scrolls. That's the first scrolls we found so far. And that's the only scroll we're actually going to get to be able to talk to the dwarf. So yeah, until... We get the other two. I'm just not going to bother trying to access this area from here in the mines. Let's go down. There's some iron. We'll take that. I really just want the little dust sprites and iron. Here we go. Some more iron. We'll take that. Oh, some coal. Very nice. And it looks like there's a frozen tear right here. I'm going to grab that. Where are you, dust brights? Coming out. Okay. 
This sword is really nice. It hits really hard. And my new pickaxe certainly helps. Get some cave carrots. Here, let's head down. Oh, here we go. Now, I think once we get these uh, sprinklers up and running, I'm also thinking that maybe I can just uh, make some of the line sprinklers instead for the for the pumpkin patch, just so I don't have to spend so much time watering. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Just make a couple line sprinklers and yeah, we'll get that watered that way. Get these guys taken care of. Let me see. So we've got 30 and we've got 11. Cool, let's grab. Oh, look at how many are here. This is great. We'll just finish this, this four right here. And then we'll just head over to the Ventures Guild and check the quest board over there and see how good we're doing. Let's grab this frozen tier and this last guy. Okay, let's see what's down here. Let's Let's head back up. So we have 17 pieces of coal now, so that's great. Hi Marlin, hi Gil. So, oh, we've, we're at 178 slimes, 122 dust sprites, so we still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. You should try to clear out that Dougie's goal and the cave insect at once. Even on the bats were doing pretty good, and we're almost at halfway on the bats. Okay, so let's go through the mine carts and get to the bus stop. Okay, so we will save these in here to take to the museum. Um, I'm gonna sell the mayo we got today so we can have a bit of extra money. Yeah, and let's get these bars melted. these away in here and it's only nine o'clock so I'm just gonna clear some wood on the farm it's really hard to see but we'll see what we can find oh look there's some mushrooms out here very nice and tons of mushrooms And I should see if I can clear this big rock up here with my new pickaxe. Forgot about that. This iridium. Oh yes. Let's eat some mushrooms. Just go check out this area over here.
Okay, so this is Grandpa's shed. It's clearly run down. But that should uh, trigger a new quest line. Let's clear up here for a bit. We're heading to bed. stuck too high up. <laughs> okay, let's head down and go to bed. This is a very narrow path. I can't wait to get the greenhouse open and ready to go. But there's still so much to do on the farm. And the days, they just go by so quickly. <laughs> let's see what we got. Only one... I need more. I needed another one. That's okay. We'll just make one sprinkler for now. Place that down. Let's put it here. And to bed we go. We just store all this stuff. This farm is certainly rich with mushrooms and good foraging. Oh, I think it might be done. Yes. Let's make the last one right now before heading to bed. So I'm going to try to get the line sprinkler set up. There we go. So we can put one, two, three, four, five, six line sprinklers in maybe. Yeah, we can lengthen that a bit. And we won't even need to use the, well, we'll still use the quality ones actually. Let's head to bed. Did we sell anything for today? Yes, we did sell the mayo. Awesome. So we made 2,075, not too bad. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching.